Ladies and gentlemen, we can look to leaks and rumors and speculate why the Switch 2 is being delayed. And a lot of that stuff makes sense, but to be honest, we don't need to do any of that. The real answer why the Switch 2 is delayed is right in front of our face, and it makes perfect sense. So let's just go ahead and get right into this video. Yeah, I have a lot of fun making videos about leaks and rumors and speculations because it gets you thinking what's possible, what's not possible. But when we're looking for a straightforward answer, well, it turns out it's been right in front of us the entire time. So before we get started, if you could hit a like and subscribe, it would truly mean the world to me. I have this Switch game I'm giving away right here at 8,000 subscribers just to show my gratitude and I just want to thank you for all the support. Um, it truly means the world to me. So if you enjoy this kind of content, like and subscribe. And let's just go ahead and get into this video. So what is Nintendo? They are a video game company, right? And what is their objective? To make amazing games? To make really cool consoles? To make sure everybody's having a great time? No. Their main objective is to make money. So quickly, this is for the Switch, not the Switch OLED, but I'm sure it's around the same threshold. For every Nintendo Switch that was sold in 2021, Nintendo only made about $40 profit per console. So they're saying the components inside the console, and I'm sure shipping and manufacturing and all this other stuff, is around $260 to do all that per Switch, which is insane. It, it's so crazy that that's how much it costs to make these consoles. So Nintendo is only making $40 per every Switch sold. And now when you think about it in that light, it's like, man, it must be so stressful to have this business and to make sure you're making X amount of dollars here and then putting that over there. So now let's look at how much the yen, which is the Japanese currency, was worth in 2017 around the launch of the Switch. So we're gonna actually go to the date of the Switch. I think the Switch launched March 17th. I think I didn't get one until 2018 because I was too poor. Uh, Friday, March 17th, 2017. One US dollar was around 112 yen. Okay, 112 yen, not bad. And as you can see up here, the graph was blue. This is good. Blue is good, green is good. Nintendo is making money, the yen is strong, the exchange rate is great. This console is very, very, very profitable. $40 on each console, you sell like a quadrillion consoles, you're gonna make a couple dollars. So now, let's look at what the yen is trading today. And as you can see, this seems like a pretty steady line, but it is in the red. As you can see down here, this is low. This is very low. Uh, in 2017, it was at 112. Now it's at 67. So literally half the amount it was trading for. Five days ago, still about the same. One month ago, we had a little bump. This all seems steady, right? It's low, but it's steady. There's, there's ways to finesse this and make it work for your company and work for your trading and work for your manufacturing. You can make it work. You have to cut costs here and do this there, but it's steady and steady you can make work. Now when something is volatile, which means it goes up and down, that's kind of harder to wrap your head around. Well, let's look at one year ago. Yeah, that steady number doesn't look great. Let's look at five years ago. This is very bad. When did the rumors about the Switch 2 pop up? I would say steady in 2022, right? Uh, the Switch Pro was the first rumor, and then that turned out to be the Switch OLED. And in my opinion, I think the Switch OLED technically is the Switch Pro. Bigger screen, better screen, better kickstand, I think a better battery. All things considered, it is a Switch Pro. But for the Switch 2, or the next generation of Nintendo console, I would say that conversation really picked up around 2022. There was leaks, there were supposed dev kits, there was this, there was that. And then they really picked up last year. We were 100% confident that the next Nintendo console was coming in 2024. Inside analyst, business analyst, game developers, uh, there was dev kits, there was everything. The Switch 2 is coming in 2024, it's a given. Well, that was until the end tanked at the end of 2022. We got a little bit of a spike in 2023, but since January 2023, it's been a steady decline. This is basically almost the highest that the yen was in the recent history. So in January of 2021, the yen is trading very high and they're only making $40 profit on a $300 console. Well, the Switch 2 is rumored to be 350 or 400 or maybe even 450, but we'll just say, we'll just say 400, right? That sounds fair a $400 console, they would make 
$60 profit maybe, but when the yen is all the way down here, what are they going to make? 10 bucks per console? Are they going to go into red selling the Switch 2? There's other factors, right? One, Nintendo wants to make the Switch the best selling console of all time, and I think they should do that. I don't think they need to do it this year, but I think that is something they are working towards, and over time it will happen. Two, there's millions and millions of games out there that they still need to sell. I think they need to do something like the Switch Selects or some kind of discount uh, and get all that stock gone. Three, the Switch is kind of doing pretty good still in like the 80th year of its life. Four, the yen is crazy. Five, maybe they can't find all the components and parts and pieces. You know, there's certain people who make the screen, certain people who make the chips, like there's Nvidia, there's this, there's that. Maybe there's something in the pipeline that just is scarce. So I think there's so much that is going into the delay of this Nintendo console, but I do think the main factor is the Japanese yen is just so low. So maybe they need to cut cost here to make up for that. Maybe they need to find a different manufacturing route. Maybe they need to figure something out. The number one question I truly have for you, and I hope that you will answer it honestly for me because I would love to hear your insight, is why do you think the Nintendo Switch 2 is delayed? I'd seriously love to hear from you guys. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you could. We're growing on both platforms. It's a lot of fun talking to you guys over there. You guys get pretty wacky, and it's a lot of fun. And uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. And you guys know me. I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out.